I want to talk about this without getting too far into the weeds, but it is kind of complicated. There's this thing called Hadoop, which most big companies use to do sure. data analytics and categorize all of this information. And there's this other thing that you guys are behind called Spark. What is Spark and why is it better? I like to think of Apache Spark as the analytics operating system of a modern enterprise. And in the future, anybody who's leveraging data is going to be using Spark. It's, it's like IBM did with Linux in the early days where it's a platform upon which anybody can build and small company, big company, doesn't matter, and start to get much greater insight out of all their data assets. And this is something that came out of a lab at Berkeley in 2009 that you guys helped sponsor, Yeah, right? I mean, this is one of the fastest growing open source projects in history. Started at Berkeley in 2009, just had the first, uh, became a top level Apache project in 2014. So it's still relatively new, but it has tremendous momentum in the community. And a big part of what we're trying to do is to support the community in our efforts. Okay, so let's bring this to life a little bit because this is already being used by organizations like NASA. How, for example, does NASA use Spark? So think of it this way. Hadoop is a great way to store data, and that's why we've been a big player in Hadoop to date. But most of the data in an organization doesn't reside in Hadoop. It may reside somewhere else. So NASA uh, was actually speaking at the Spark Summit this morning, and they talked about how they view space as an archive. There's tons of data. Some of that can be stored in Hadoop, but they've also got data in other repositories, data that's on the web. And Spark gives you the ability with its unified programming model to access all that data. So you're not restricted to one type of technology or one place. And aren't they using Spark to, to try to figure out if there's life outside of, of Earth? I mean, they are. They, they haven't found any yet. yet, I should let you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're hoping for some big news soon. But you never know what you can find. What we always tell our clients about data is when you have a huge amount of data, sometimes you might go looking for one thing and then find something else. And who knows what you'll find when you look at something like space exploration. Where else do you see Spark? Spark then going mainstream? So we see it in every industry right now. Take as an example, if you're in a bank and you're doing risk analysis, right now a data scientist would have to build analytics or an algorithm for one repository and then do it again for every data repository. With the technology that we've uh, contributed to the open source community, now you no longer have to do that. You can write your algorithm once, you can access all the data. So we see this in banks, we see this in retailers, we see this in healthcare, everywhere. Yeah, now, you know, what are the trends we've been talking about? We've heard these words, big data, data analytics, for many years now, and they haven't necessarily delivered on the promise because it's just so much information and it's so difficult to organize and pull out the interesting things from it. You know, is there, is there, are we having a moment right now where this is starting to happen? What are the biggest opportunities of using something like Spark? So we believe this is a seminal moment in data because Hadoop, you know, Lou Gerstner used a famous line in the 90s and he said the dot-coms were the fireflies before the storm. We view Hadoop as the fireflies before the storm of what Spark brings, which is a totally different way to access data and to be able to run analytics. So at what does scale. that mean then? Like what's going to be possible with Spark that wasn't possible before? Much faster. So first of all, well, you can do it 100 times faster in Spark. So, and you can also use streaming. So many times with Hadoop, you say, give me the answer to this question, you get it one time. With Spark, you can say, give me the answer to this question and keep giving it to me forever as new data keeps coming in. So it totally changes how analytics can be used in an enterprise. And a lot of the Spark folks are going to be based in San Francisco. Yeah, so we announced a Spark Technology Center based here in San Francisco, and that's where we're going to be focused on the core of the community, working with partners like Amp Lab and Databricks, so we're really excited about that. The code that we've contributed to the open source, we're going to be doing all that work here in San Francisco. And we also made a big commitment around educating one million data scientists through avenues like Big Data University, where we've been a leader so far.